Hey, today we got a 2005 Toyota Tacoma. This is my son's truck, uh, four liter V6, and I'm gonna be cleaning the throttle body. Just got the truck a few weeks ago. Uh, I've been doing silly stuff like plugs and whatever. And uh, throttle body probably has never been cleaned, so I'm going to do that now. I'm just using one one shot intake system cleaner. The stuff works really well. Uh, use whatever throttle body cleaner you want. 10 millimeter acorn nuts on the top of the engine shield cover. Conveniently loosened already. And lift on the front and pull. You'll see there's two little feet on the bottom. Those go under those two plastic uh, or rubber um, little circular things at the back. I don't know what you call them, like little grommets. So it just goes on there and then rotates back on. So this part goes off and on first. Let's get that out of the way. I'm going to take a 10 millimeter wrench and loosen up the intake hose. Actually, I don't even know if I need to do this. <laughs> I'm assuming I do. Let's just get that out of the way. And now two clips for the air box for the air filter. Two clips on the front. And then it rotates out and then out this way. There's two feet in the back that hold that. So this way and then pull it toward you. And let's get that out of the way. And now there are two 10 mil bolts, one here and one here that hold this half of the intake with the uh, MAF sensor. And I think that's about it. The, I believe that's the PCV. And so a 10 mil bolt here for this uh, clamp to clamp it on. This is the throttle body right here. It's an electronic throttle body. It is not hooked directly to your gas pedal. Um, yeah, I believe just this bolt and then these two tens should pull that out. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Anyway, back in a second. Okay, I don't believe we have to take that PCV hose, this one here, off. I'm just going to lift up and wiggle this away from the throttle body. And... Nothing else under there. Well, the throttle body looks fairly clean, actually. Huh, not bad. I'm going to unbolt it from, there's four 10 millimeter bolts here. I'm gonna unbolt the whole thing from the truck. Uh, key out of the ignition, make sure your key's not in, and I don't know if this one's in or not. Oh, it's sitting on the seat, so it's not in the ignition. You can unhook your negative battery cable if you want, if you're a little iffy about doing this, unhooking anything electrical. Uh, well, the battery's still plugged in, uh, the key's not on, it's not really a big deal. So I'm gonna unplug the throttle, the electronic throttle body here. Looks like a push clip and then slide out, pushing where my thumb is. And then these four uh, 10 mil bolts, I'm gonna take those off and separate it back in a sec after I've done that. Okay, three bolts out, they're all the same size. I'm assuming number four is going to be the same size too. It's unhooked, like I said, the electro connector here is unhooked, but I believe there are a couple of PCV valve or vacuum lines on there. So do I want to disconnect those or do I want to worry about it? Well, there's the inside of the throttle body. And that's why you have to remove it to clean it properly because it's dirty like this. So I don't know if this is a coolant. Yes, it is. So these are coolant lines that are going into the throttle body. So if I take those off, coolant is going to spill everywhere. So let me just grab a towel and be back in a second. Okay, I just pulled the uh, the intake with the MAF here a little further away from the, the throttle body so I can blast this clean. And simply take your cleaner, squirt a little bit on both sides. 
And that's what the towel's for. The towel's going to soak up all this stuff when it falls down. You can see it blasting off. Never, never, never use a wire brush or anything on there to clean these. At the most, use a toothbrush or something like an old paintbrush. Old paintbrushes work actually really well for this kind of stuff. Buy them at the dollar store. Buy those packs of like five for two bucks, and they are great for interior detailing and engine cleaning and stuff. They get in places where other things will not. So I'm just going to work that in for a little bit. I'm going to grab a paintbrush and do it as well uh, and be back in a second once this stuff is all cleared off. And don't be afraid to push the, uh, the throttle butterfly to get past it. It's not going to snip your fingers off because the car is not on and you are going to get that stuff that's in the back of it. You can't get both sides and the section where it closes off, you can't get that properly without opening it a little bit. We're going to reset the idle after or allow the idle to relearn once we're done this anyway. I'm just going to keep doing this till it's all clean. Um, you can blast a little bit inside your intake here. Not on this side. Don't spray it toward the MAF. Spray nothing toward the MAF's airflow sensor. Spray it this way. You can clean in here because there is going to be some gunk and it's just going to get sucked in the engine and burnt. It's just uh, a throttle body cleaner. It is fine to burn in the engine. Back in a few Okay, minutes. so the throttle body is all cleaned now. It's not perfectly, perfectly 100% scrubbed, shiny. Don't. You don't need to. You don't need to scrub the living crap out of it. Um, all of the goo that was on the sides, all of the oil that's gotten past is gone. Oh, mostly. I thought I got that part. I missed one. Back in a second. I got to get a shop rag and, and clean okay, that up. Okay, now we're clean. I'm going to take a little tiny bit of dielectric grease. And people are going to probably scream at me for it, but I don't care. And I'm just going to rub it into the seal that goes around where the throttle body mounts to the intake manifold just to keep it pliable. And then we are going to bolt this back on. About 10 foot-pounds of torque for these bolts. These bolts are aluminum. They are not cranked on as tight as a spark plug, and they are definitely not lug nuts. Don't crank the living hell out of them. Um, I don't know the exact torque spec. I know what they came off at. They came off around 12, 13 foot-pounds. So I'm assuming they're probably on is probably between 10 and 12 or 10 and 13. So I'm going to put these back on and we'll be back in one minute. When you're tightening the bolts, tighten them cross corner just as you would a lug nut not both top ones and then both bottom ones. Go diagonally across. Snug them and then tighten them to the final torque, which I believe is about 10. You know what, I'm gonna go look it up because I don't wanna give any wrong information, but I believe it's around 10 to 12, but I'm gonna go look, look it up. Look at the tor torque spec and it is 12 foot pounds. Imagine that. It was a guess, but anyway. So I'm going to torque them again diagonally. Oh, I think I need an extension.
Where are you? There you are. And now I'm going to take a little bit of, again, dielectric grease just along the edge of the, where the hose meets up, just so it slides on nice and doesn't get stuck next time I have to pull it off. It wasn't stuck this time, but anyway. And dielectric grease inside the electrical fitting. Oops, can you see that? Pull this rag out, plug back in. I'm just gonna put these three bolts, this one, this one, tighten this, put everything back together. But while I'm doing that, I'm gonna take the key put it in the ignition and turn it to on when all the lights come on, but it doesn't start. I'm not gonna start the truck. I'm just gonna turn the key to the full on position with all the light, idiot lights on the dashboard and you'll be able to hear the throttle body searching for idle and it will find it's, uh, it's gonna adjust itself back to factory idle. Hold on one second. I don't hear any clicking. Most Japanese cars do relearn their idle this way. Anyway, I'm going to leave that for a few minutes. The idle wasn't bad on it on it uh, before. The idle was fine. It was around 800 RPMs. Uh, it was just a little lumpy, rough up and down. But uh, I'm going to put this all back together and then we'll start it and uh, make sure it does idle properly. But uh, usually to reset an electronic throttle body, turning the key to the on position and leaving it for four or five minutes, it will usually, the, the butterfly valve will rotate and move itself to the closed position, the proper closed position, the proper micro uh, distance away from closed. Uh, it will do that on its own. Anyway, uh, da -da -da -da, I'm gonna put all this back together and be back in a few okay, minutes. Okay, since I'm not hearing the uh, throttle body clicking. I'm not hearing the butterfly move. I'm not hearing any of that. I don't believe this is the reset procedure for this particular car. Again, uh, Mercedes, it does it that way. The smart car does it that way. Um, Mazdas do it that way. Blah, 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 blah. Many other vehicles do. This one doesn't. So the other way generally to do it is unhook your negative battery cable for about 10, 15 minutes, plug it back in, and then it will revert itself to base idle. So I'm going to un unhook the negative battery cable, which is just a 10 mil and then plug it back in. Uh, right now I'm just putting everything else back on. Uh, first I'm gonna clean up some of this stuff under the hood and uh, I'm using foaming tire cleaner. That works really well, just don't get any in the intake because there's silicone in it. Silicone doesn't burn, goes in bad, bad, bad. But uh, it will clean your engine and uh, the foaming stuff and it will also uh, keep your plastic, save your plastics, your rubbers, it will condition the rubber and the plastic just like it does in your tires. It's actually good stuff, but never spray it on an intake or on a running engine where a vacuum leak could suck the silicone in. Bad, 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 bad. Um, do it while the engine is off, and uh, you won't believe how good it looks. Anyway, I'll be back in a few minutes. Again, I'm going to re-unhook the negative batter cable, and we will make sure this is all hunky-dory. Another quick tip. Never, ever, ever in any modern car or truck have the key in the ignition when you unhook your battery or hook your battery back up and always unhook only the negative cable. No key in the ignition, never, bad idea. Okay, so while I'm waiting the 10 minutes for the battery to, re to uh, the ECU to reset for the battery to be off, 
Just gonna put everything back together after having been cleaned. And like I said, the air filter assembly, the little feet in the back going first. They slot in and then rotate, oops, slot in and rotate forward. Why didn't they go in? There we go. check to make sure I tightened everything and then put the top cover back on and those two little feet at the back go underneath the round see the little feet they go pop onto those two little round nubs rotate down and then the two acorn nuts holding the top on don't crank the crap out of them they're not structural just put them on so they hold it down so it doesn't rattle Oops. it always helps if you tighten it though shinier new engine been about five minutes so i'm gonna have to wait a few more and then we'll see how the idle is once we okay rehooked up the negative battery cable and started the truck i had to let it warm up because it'll just be sitting at high idle for a few minutes if i don't and idle is nice and smooth and idling around oh it's about 750 800 This is a five-speed standard. If it's an automatic, it's gonna idle a tiniest bit more, but uh, yeah, around 800 is where it should sit. Turn on the AC and make sure it idles up, which it does, about 900, AC off. Perfect. Now to reset all the clocks and crap. <laughs> If you're going to unhook your negative battery cable, make sure you have your... Uh, I don't know if these stock radios have a... Uh, the Toyota ones have a code? I don't know. Um, he's got an aftermarket one in there. I don't know if it has a code or not. Uh, but if it does have a code, make sure you got yours before you uh, unhook your negative battery cable. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like more of this stuff, like, subscribe, comment. You name it. Thank you very much.